All right, and to bring us more details, I'm being joined now over the phone line by our news editor, Navrun Goswami. Navrun, these are very unique visuals that we see on your screens. The two leaders are both belonging to rival camps. However, true sportsmanship on display here as both victorious candidates now shaking hands and all smiles after their victory from their respective seats. Absolutely, Ronak. Uh, great visuals there. Uh, but of course, uh, the parties have started trading charges at each other right after the results. The breaking news at this moment is that the BJP has also won, uh, won the Juvaraj Nagar seat. Ronak Malina Devnath of the BJP has secured a total of 18,769 votes uh, against her rival from CPIM, Shailendra Chandranath, who secured 14,100 97 votes. So, uh, one Malina Jetnath has won by over 4,000 votes. That's a big, big victory for the BJP, considering that uh, Juvaraj Nagar has been a bastion of the left. So, uh, three, uh, three out of four in three out of four seats, the results are out. We are just waiting for the results of the Surma seat uh, right now, where also the BJP candidate is leading uh, Ronak. Uh, but uh, again, uh, very significant is by polls. We have uh, Manik Saha, the CM, the Chief Minister, was making his by poll debut. We just heard him uh, speaking exclusively uh, to North East Live, saying yes, the, the, the victory was an expected line. Uh, but uh, definitely, he was he was expecting the victory margin, the victory margin uh, to be bigger. Uh, right. And and of course, uh, the very significant win. Uh, was uh, is also that of Sudeep Roy Burman, who joined the Congress, uh, fought against all odds and has emerged victorious. Uh, Sudeep Roy Burman has termed it as the victory of the Congress uh, in the state. But, uh, well, uh, as, as, as I had mentioned earlier, this victory may not be a validation for the Congress as such, but definitely for Sudeep Roy Burman as a candidate. Sudeep Roy Burman has been winning the six Agatala seats, the traditionally his seat. Uh, and 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 the people of the constituency have decided to back him once again. That definitely uh, makes him and keeps him as 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 a potential force in the run-up to the very crucial assembly polls in Agatala in 2023. And definitely also keeps the Congress uh, in, in 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 the in the run in three. Uh, of course, it will be very disappointing uh, for the CPIM. Uh, these uh, this this, this by polls uh, run up uh, couldn't hold on to the Juvaraj Nagar seat as well, where they had a good chance. Uh, so, yes, it's a big setback for the CPIM. But overall, overall, uh, even the BJP can be satisfied despite not winning the Sis Agatala seat. Uh, it was always difficult. It was always difficult against uh, a leader of uh, Sudeep Roy government stature as far as the Sikh Agatala constituency is concerned. Of course, Dr. Shusina was a close aide and confidant of Sudeep Roy government himself. They have fought polls together. They have resisted each other. Uh, Shosina uh, has, has been campaigning for Sudeep Roy government in the previous elections. But this time, they had turned rivals. Of course, one of, uh, contesting from the BJP, the other from the Congress. So it was always difficult. Uh, it, that, uh, it, it was always a difficult battle, this one, for the BJP. Uh, but uh, still, I would think Dr. Sokina has uh, done, has not fared uh, too badly if we check uh, the numbers. Of course, he, he, he garnered 14,268 votes against 17,431 of Sudhir Prabhu. Not much uh, between the uh, difference of 3,000 votes, yes. Uh, but it has not been a comprehensive sweeping win for the people of government, uh, considering the fact that this has been his bastion, his constituency. So uh, the BJP should be too disappointed with that. There's always scope for improvement. But definitely uh, the results have made uh, the run-up to the polls very, very interesting uh, run-up. Uh, another factor that we see from the figures, uh, if we look at the TMC's uh, numbers, uh, the, the, the Trinamool Congress, uh, it's it's not encouraging at all. If we talk about uh, say uh, the Juvraj Nagar seat, the TMC candidate uh, Minal Kanti Devnath has been uh, has managed to garner uh, mere 1,080 votes. If we look at some of the other constituencies, let's take uh, eight town Bordoli. Uh, if we if we see the TMC candidate has not been able to manage even 1,000 votes. If we look at six Agastala seats, Ronak uh, again. The TMC candidate has not been able to garner even 1,000 votes. So clearly, the TMC nowhere uh, in the fray, if we talk about the four seats which have gone to the, to the by polls, clearly the TMC would need a lot of pondering, rethinking to do as far as Tripura is concerned. Uh, of course, uh, we cannot read too much as far as the Tripura Mota is concerned. 
Uh, we are contesting from Suma of two weeks. But definitely, this is not Tupta Chitra Mota's Western election. Chitra Mota's stronghold is, of course, the ADC areas, the tribal areas. So you cannot really get much from this result. But as far as the TMC is concerned, they really, really need to rethink, gear up, re-strategize. Uh, but definitely, overall, we can we can still call, despite BJP not winning the uh, six Agatala seat, we can still term this as a validation of Chief Minister Manik Saha being, being, being uh, thrown in as the CM. Uh, of Manik Saha being thrown in as CM, uh, he himself has won by a sizable margin. And of course, uh, the BJP uh, winning the, 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 the Jubaraj Nagar seat and uh, clearly poised to win the Surma seat. Product. Absolutely. And I'm glad you brought that up, Navrun, because I want to talk to you about uh, Manik Saha for a moment here. You know, there was a lot riding on the man's shoulders, isn't it? Incumbent Chief Minister very recently having been appointed as the Chief Minister. And on top of that, making his Assembly election debut in this by-elections. So he must be a man who is heaving a very big sigh of relief at this point in time, isn't it? Yes, and not just see the entire BJP uh, BJP camp would be heaving a sigh of relief, uh, uh, definitely. But then again, uh, I, I I I can say this was an expected line. Say even though Ashish Saha uh, has been the sitting MLA, the Congress candidate has been the sitting MLA. He won by a record margin of 11,000 votes in the last election. Uh, but uh, despite that, you have to understand that uh, Manik Saha is the, is a chief minister. Is a chief minister who is contesting despite this being his debut post here, the advantage of being the chief minister. Secondly, it's a bi poll. The BJP is in power. The Congress has been nowhere in free. As far as Tripura is concerned, of course, uh, to be government winning comes a big boost to the party, which has which become nearly non existent as far as Tripura is concerned. But definitely, as I said, this makes uh, the assembly polls, the rest of the assembly polls, very, very interesting. In the moment, uh, right after the results, uh, parties, leaders have started to trade charges at uh, each other. Uh, Sudeep Kumar government has alleged the BJP of foul play in on Patoli seat. Uh, Chief Minister Manik Saha has alleged that there has been an understanding uh, between the CPM and Congress in the two seats somewhere. Uh, that, uh, first of all, uh, has impacted the results in the Sikh Sagatala and also. Uh, reduce the margin of victory as far as uh, his case is concerned in town Bordoli seat. So yes, we will see more of it. We will see more of it. Uh, but uh, the opposition cannot really say uh, prop at this time. That's what uh, observers are saying that uh, the elections have been rigged because they themselves have expressed satisfaction over the way polls have been conducted this time. We had 100% webcasting and uh, not much many incidents of violence. Of course, we had that odd case of stabbing. Apart from that, there was not much of a violence. We can say even the opposition would, would have had in a way indirectly accepted that the polls were free and fair and that there were no complaints about the results. And, of course, uh, uh, the BJP would be still satisfied with uh, winning three out of the four seats. The Congress winning one only makes the, uh, the, 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 the battles in the run-up to the assembly polls more interesting.